the kids are back to school. And back to school isn't just about new routines, meeting new friends, or learning new equations. That's right, we are talking about germs, coughs, colds, fevers, upset tummies, you name it, the list goes on. Today, we're sharing treatment tips so you're ready when the germs come home with the backpacks. As a pediatrician, I get asked a lot about dosing and fever control. It's super important to remember that all kids come in different shapes and sizes, and they don't necessarily line up with the ranges on the bottle. So when in doubt, you always want to dose per weight and not necessarily per age. Another important tip is that you always want to use the measuring device that comes in the packaging with your over-the-counter medication. You never want to substitute with a kitchen uh, spoon. When your grandparents or babysitters are babysitting for you, make sure to remind them, no to the kitchen spoon and yes to the measuring device. Many parents worry about making the right choices when treating a sick child. Always read the drug facts label before administering any over-the-counter product to your child. Get in the habit of learning not only its dosing instructions, but also its active ingredients. I've got three kids. Some of them are allergy sufferers. It can be hard to know if that runny nose is allergies or if it's actually a cold. One way to tell if it's allergies is that allergies tend to be, they last indefinitely. Whereas if it's a cold, you'll have about a seven to 10 day period that it runs its course. So if you're using OTC medications to treat the symptoms, you're gonna have to read the drug facts label first. It's very important. Many allergy medications contain ingredients that are absolutely not suitable for kids under the age of six. And also, if you're treating cold symptoms, then no oral cough or cold medications for any kids under the age of four. Yeah, I'm four. You are four, high five. So I'm in my daughter's room cleaning and disinfecting because here's the thing, when our kids are sick, it's our natural instinct to want to make them feel better right away. But we still need to make smart informed choices. So listen up moms and dads for an important tip. As a mom and a nurse, be sure when you're giving an OTC medicine that you're using it to treat specific symptoms. For example, never ever use cold, cough, or allergy medicine to make them sleepy. You also want to be careful not to double up on the same active ingredients. Some OTC products, such as multi-symptom cold medicines, use a combination of the same ingredients. So reading the labels will help you avoid giving your child two medicines with the same active ingredient, such as acetaminophen. Now that summer has wound down, we are transitioning to our back to school routine. So that is a lot of homework, you know, after school, um, different sports and play dates. As parents, the best ways that we can make sure that we can prevent our kids from getting sick is to make sure that they are getting enough sleep, that they are eating healthy meals, that they are getting enough exercise, and of course, that they are washing their hands. For more tips on how to keep your family healthy all school year, log on to knowyourotcs.org.